Simon said, and our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. As people in the United States and people who are eligible to vote, we should go out there and make our our voice be heard by, by voting. Um, these past few weeks, I've been doing research on why it is that people don't vote. And voting is something that is very important here in America because that's how we choose our president, our laws, and everything. Um, today, I would like to share with you guys why it is that people don't vote and some, a couple of solutions that that we can do, that we as a government can do to to make people vote. Um, first, I'll talk about the problem in voting, and then I'll talk about why people don't vote. And finally, I will talk about some solutions that we can do. Um, the problem with voting is that a lot of people are not voting. They are not voting because they there's multiple reasons why they are not voting. Laws and presidents are elected because people don't vote when they are supposed to, like they're, they forget or they make up excuses. Um, since they are not voting, their voice is not being heard and they don't, they don't say what they want or what they don't want. So according to Statistic Brain Research Institute, out of According to Statistic Brain Research Institute, out of 218 million people who are eligible to vote, only 126 million people actually vote. And that to me, we have of the people that should be voting that are not actually voting. Um, many people start complaining when laws or presidents or just people in general who get elected or laws that are passed, they complain about that they don't like them or or just that they they don't agree with them, and they shouldn't be complaining because they have they hadn't had the chance to to change that by voting. Now let's talk about some reasons why they don't vote. Um, all all the people have reasons why they don't vote, but in reality, I I think they're just excuses. Um, two reasons is because they are too busy, or because they forget. On USGov Info, they stated that 28% of the people who did not vote were too busy and 8% forgot. Um, I do not know how someone can forget how to vote. I mean, I don't think how someone can forget to vote because it's all over the news, it's all over the newspapers, it's all over, it's everywhere they send you cards to your mail, so I, I don't see that as a, as a valid reason. Um, another is that it takes too long to vote. And I find this um, not a valid reason because people wait hours for a new phone or for new shoes. They count out hours and they could do that, but they can't go, they can't actually go vote for their laws and their president, something that will actually affect them out of the world. Um, and in the Washington, and another reason is that they are not interested they just don't hear what's going on. They just don't, they'll just go with the flow of whatever is going on. In the Washington Post, they stated that 15% of the people are not interested in anything that is going on with the government. Now that I've talked about what some reasons are for not voting, um, I will talk to you guys about some solutions that there is. To every problem, there are solutions, and in this case, there are many solutions that we and the government can do. Us, we could just, there's just one simple reason, there's just one simple way to increase voting and that is just by voting and actually voting to the polls. Um, it's, it's a, voting is a right, so we should just take advantage of that and actually go vote. Um, things that the government can do are keep polling places open longer According to a study by professors at UC Berkeley, in states where polls are open for more than 12 hours, 5% more people vote. So many of our families, especially, many in many families, in, in my family, my mom works till late. So she, she, when she gets out of work, she doesn't have enough time to go and vote, but she, she tries, but sometimes she doesn't. Um, 
another way is by making voting online. Uh, by making voting online, it will be easier and faster. Since now everything is online, it would be better. But they haven't implemented it because they are. They just want to make sure that the server is secure and that people's information will be released and hackers won't get it. And a third, a third way we can make voting go, make voting, make people vote is by expand early voting. By expanding early voting, um, more people would go to to vote earlier and not be not go that same day that everybody's supposed to go and not have to wait as long as you would as if you go to that same day. Now that we've discussed the problem with voting, and what the causes are and some reasons and some ways that we can improve voting, let's wrap things up. Voting is something that is important in America because that's where we choose our laws and our presidents and everything. Um, today I talked to you guys about about, the, about about the problem in voting and I hope you guys will go vote since I think all of us are 18. We are eligible to vote and I hope that all of you guys go vote. And first I talked about what the problem in voting is, then I talked about what causes people not to vote and finally I talked about what we can do to make more people vote. Um, the 15 Amendment is the right to vote and we should take advantage of it. Like Thomas Paine stated, voting is the right upon which all other rights depend on. So let's go out there and vote.